What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, a quick and easy video on how to remove the factory roof rack off of your Toyota Land Cruiser or LX470. As a matter of fact, any Toyota vehicle is probably the same. Now I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube that already cover this, however, I haven't found one yet that goes through step by step of them actually removing the whole roof rack, so uh, stay tuned. This is my first attempt at removing one of the covers. This is the passenger side rear cover, and I try to use a flathead screwdriver to pry from different angles and locations to get the cover off. This was actually fairly difficult because the cover's on there pretty tight and uh, there's no good place to get the screwdriver in. Plus, you don't want to pry too hard to where you scratch or damage the cover itself. I finally find a good spot to slide the screwdriver in. It's on the side rails where the crossbars go in. So what you do is you slide the screwdriver in there, pry the cover out slightly towards the inside of the car, and pull the cover straight up. The cover is actually held in by two vertical plastic dowels. All you gotta do is pull the cover straight up and you shouldn't break anything. Now for the front passenger side. I'm going to do the exact same thing is slide the screwdriver in the side rail where the crossbars go, pry the cover out slightly so I can get my fingers underneath and pull the cover straight up. Under the front cover, it's the same two vertical dials that go into the roof rack. Now for the front driver side. Again, I'm doing the exact same thing, sliding my screwdriver in the slot right where the crossbars go in. I'm going to pry the cover towards the inside of the vehicle ever so slightly to where I can get my fingers underneath the cover and pull the cover vertically up. Last one is going to be the driver's side rear. Again, same exact process. Screwdriver goes in the slot where the crossbars go you pry the cover slightly towards the inside of the vehicle, making sure not to break it, and then you get your fingers underneath the cover, pull vertically up, and it should come right out. Underneath the cover, there are two Torque 40 screws that actually hold the roof rack in place. Once you remove these guys, the roof rack is almost out. Next, you want to take out the two torque screws in the rear mount. And finally, to get to the torque screws in the middle mount, you have to shift the entire rail forward and then up. I lost the footage of me doing just that, but it's very straightforward. And that's it. So not too bad. Um, if you ran into the same issue as me where the bolts rusted out in the middle legs, what I ended up doing was drilling the bolts out a little bit to where there's a ledge, you can grab it with uh, some vice grips, so the, uh, the, pa the place that where you drilled and the edge of the bolt, grab it with some vice grips and slowly turn it out. Um, it's not on there really tight, it's just a pain in the butt because it's rusted, but um, yeah, you should be able to get it out, um, not, not too much trouble. If this video was helpful, don't forget uh, to like, and if you'd like to see more Land Cruiser videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.